Reactive training systems. Hey, what's up everyone? Ross Lovely here, Reactive Training System Coach. I got an analogy that I want to bring to the table with you today that I think adds a lot of value. It's added a lot of value for me in my training and I hope that it does the same for you. So I look at powerlifting as we often have these goals to get to uh, certain numbers. You know, we want to squat X amount of kilos, bench that many kilos, deadlift this, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. We have those big goals and those goals are good and they are important and we ought to have those. They provide good direction. The thing is, is that we oftentimes as powerlifters get too hyper-focused on that goal and want that number now. And that's a distraction. And that distraction keeps us from progressing towards accomplishing that goal. So I like to look at it as getting to that goal is like climbing a mountain. If we are at the bottom of the mountain, our goal is to climb to the top of that mountain. Clearly that's our, our target, that's our goal to get to the top. The thing about that is that the process to get from the bottom to the top, you have to focus on each step. You have to focus on each step as you climb up that mountain. Now you might stop for a second and look up to reorientate to make sure you're headed in the correct direction. And or you might look back down behind you to see how far you've come. That's also good. But the key is that as you go and you progress along and you progress up that mountain, you have to remain focused on the process of climbing the mountain, focus on each step individually. If you don't, if you look up and you're still trying to hike up, the odds of you tripping and falling are very high. You don't know when that next rock is, when that next hole or divot or boulder or anything like that is, unless you're looking down at your feet and looking at your feet every step of the way. It's not going to be in a straight path from the bottom to the top. It's going to be zigzagged all over the place. So that you can avoid potentially you know sheer cliffs you got to walk around that cliff you got to rock around this berm or that rock so it's going to be all over the place just like your training it's going to kind of be all over the place there's going to be different you know seasons on seasons off seasons things of that nature but it all has that uh, purpose of getting you to that goal and getting you to the top the other thing with climbing a mountain that can occur is if you're climbing up the mountain, you get to a certain spot that's, you know, maybe it's got a bunch of super loose rocks that's really unstable and it shouldn't be climbed. We have to acknowledge and recognize that spot in the mountain. You're like, oh, this spot is not acceptable for me to climb. I think that other spot over there might be better. Let's walk back down a little bit and around this spot and back over up in here and see what that looks like. And lo and behold, that oftentimes will be a better approach. And that can occur with our training too. An example would be if they start having some aches and pains and they're trying to push through that because there's this meat that they have to get ready for, they have to do it. That prep leads to some larger injury. Well, I did that recently this year. I decided to not compete at Raw Nationals because I was having some hip issues. It wasn't an injury, but the pain was enough of a concern that I was like, I need to take a step back and not push the training and just, I need some time to have some reduced load and readjust. And now I'm coming back up the other side and it's going fantastic. So. We have to be flexible enough to adjust that route. And that way it ensures we don't trip and fall and roll back down too far or in a powerlifting sense, an injury, tear a muscle, something along those lines. But the main idea here is that we have to focus on the things that we can control. We have to focus on the process of the training, not the spot that we want the training to take us to. So being focused in on the day-to-day -day work, each set, each rep, 
in the training session, training with intent, being there and focused on that day to day is going to be the most effective way to help you get to that goal and accomplish that weight and get that weight under your belt rather than I got to I got to get to that spot. I got to get to that spot. The only way to get to that spot is to work the process. We can't be hyper focused on getting to that spot. And then as well, like climbing any mountain too, you could get to the top and get to that peak and see, oh wow, there is more just beyond the horizon. I didn't see that peak back there from the ground. That looks beautiful over there. Let's go check that out. And then the process can reshape and re retool and rebegin onto the next peak and just keep on going. But having patience in that process and taking it step by step is going to be the best way to succeed in the accomplishment and achieving those goals that you do seek. So I really hope that this adds some value into your training and your training efforts and your training results and we'll be in touch with you all the next time. Reactive training systems. <laughs>